Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. I'm John Gabriel. So in a previous video, which got a lot of views and a lot of interest, we had some really dumb questions, which I'm going to address in this video, but it concerns the father of all mathematical cranks, mainstream mathematical cranks, because outside of the mainstream, there aren't any cranks. Uh, to be a crank means a person in the mainstream who cannot be convinced by any amount of overwhelming evidence. That's the definition of crank. So if you're a mainstream academic, you're a crank. And uh, this is what I'm going to show you now. Uh, and also I'm going to help you understand the answers to those questions you asked me. So let's begin. Now, number one, an infinite decimal expansion, which is, by the way, a myth, is the premise of Cantor's bullshit diagonal di diagonal argument okay there is no support for his argument even from the very first step if you think about what an infinitesimal expansion is most of you don't think so that's problematic but if you think about it you can't have that when is your eyed ever an actual representation of that crap concept that you call a real number or an irrational number. Sorry about that. That was a message to modern Greek academics. Listen, you don't have an irrational number. You don't have a real number. The only numbers you have are rational numbers. And most rational numbers, where rational is redundant, cannot be represented in any base. Okay? So, for example, the third has no measure in any base where three is not a prime factor of the base. That's just about all of them, if you compare it as a percentage. Okay? Now... That's the first, the, the second point. The third point is defining a number as a limit of an infinite decimal expansion is problematic. Why? Because take a quarter, okay? A quarter is measured as two tenths plus five hundredths. That's the measure of a quarter in base 10. You're not dividing there, you idiots. You're representing the value of a very well-formed number, a quarter, in base 10, okay? A third has no representation in base 10. And why is this is a problem? Why is this a problem? Because here, the so-called number is the limit, but never the sum. You cannot sum uh, an infinite series. And if you ask for a solid proof, you'll see this article down here shows you that you cannot measure in very no uncertain terms, in very certain terms, you cannot measure one third in base 10. Okay. So the first, uh, you have three rules for your bullshit definition of number. The first rule, it is the sum and the limit in A. The second one is the limit, but never the sum. In the third one, you have something which you think of as an irrational number, but it's not an irrational number. It's a constant. And that is never the limit nor the sum. Okay. Neither of those things. So you can scratch your nose and decide that the limit exists because past the fact that the sequence 3, 3.1, 3.14, blah, 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 etc. converges, you have nothing but boogers in your snout, okay? So you don't have a number. Now, to understand what is number, you need to read this article, which is Realization and Development of Number. And, of course, the very first one you should read is the one on arithmetic, because you got all your arithmetic from geometry long before numbers came along, Okay. Now, some of you morons have been asking me in the comment section to show you an integer for the entire infinitesimal expansion of one ninth or one third in Cantor's bullshit diagonal argument. Now, if you ask me to do that, you bloody well better be able to provide all the digits yourself first, you fucking moron. You can't ask me to do an impossible task when you can do it, you fucking idiots. No, you can't tell me it's all there because it isn't all there, idiots. Doesn't matter if you can live forever. You don't have a thing called an infinitesimal expansion. It's a myth. 
Okay? And that is the premise of Cantor's bullshit diagonal argument. Okay? So basically, what Cantor is telling you is, oh, uh, all real numbers can be represented as this, which is completely false. And then he's telling you that the set is not countable. Well, it's based on a wrong assumption. It's based on the fact that you can represent them as IDEs, but you can't. Because if you have a decimal tree, morons, listen, pay attention, sit up straight and stop scratching your nose and your ass. If you have a decimal tree like this, okay, you can represent supposedly by your bullshit arguments all the numbers in 0, 1. And they're not numbers, they're just something dot, 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 dot. This, this doesn't finish. You can't say to me that you have all the representations. And you can't ask me to give you a, a corresponding integer for one-ninth or one-third when you can't show me where it is in the tree, you idiot. So if you give me all the digits in the tree, I'll give you that integer which corresponds to that number. In other words, the algorithm I gave you is a bijection, morons. You're so incorrigibly fucking stupid, it's unbelievable. The majority of you are worth shit. Now listen, what you will do for homework is you will study these three articles. And you will refrain from posting comments in my comment section because I don't have time to waste on idiots. Okay? Don't do it. Just resist the urge to take a shit on my comment section. Please, move on if you don't like it. Finally, I have a very important book for you to read. And, I, and, and it's not free. And I'm sorry, you're not going to get it free. Um, it's called The Importance of Learning the Right Way. What does division mean in mathematics and how does it affect all other arithmetic concepts? This is my latest work. I'll tell you something. Nothing as important as this has ever been written. Not the elements, not the works of Archimedes, not Apollonius as conics, and certainly not any of the drivel that has been written in the past 400 years. So become a subscriber to my channel. Follow me on academia.edu. And if you join my members only, you can get access to all my books, all these books here that I've written, free, okay? And much more, by the way. I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new Calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.